I don't think it exists. Uh, two people in the scene, I'm sorry this I confess, but I promise you practical examples exist. Um, two people on a boat in the sea that will only support one of them, neither of them own the boat, and they're both able to just the boat alone. Look, individual rights don't exist on a lifeboat. There is no such thing. Morality is not about lifeboats. Morality is about day-to-day -day living. Morality is about what really happens in real life. What happens on, a, on a lifeboat, all well, on the Titanic, in emergency situations, whatever happens, happens. You know, you throw the guy over, and you live, or you jump over and you commit suicide. Both choices are horrible. They're really, really bad, but that's not what life is about. In an emergency, you know, do what it takes. But life is not an emergency. 99.9999999% of life is not emergencies. And ethics, and intellectual pursuits, and politics, and philosophy is not about the .00001% of lifeboat situations. They're just not interested. They're boring. Does that mean that for every person who is so poor that they're in an emergency, any action is anticipated? No, because somebody, uh, people who are poor are not in an emergency situa situation. People who are poor can go and work. People who are poor can go and beg. People who are poor can go to a charity and ask for charity. There are a thousand opportunities for people who are poor to, to gain the things that they need in order to survive. It's not an emergency, it's not a lifeboat situation, which is truly the only situation in life, or, or in the point zero 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 one percent of life, where it's a zero-sum game. But life is not about a zero-sum game. Life is about win-win situations all around us, all the time. The essence of human interaction is win-win. It's not lose-lose, which is what a lifeboat is. Lifeboat, there's no winners. You're screwed. <laughs> but that's not life. It's not like poor people have, you know, there are lots of jobs out there, particularly under capitalism. There are more jobs than you can fill under capitalism. There's negative unemployment in capitalism. There's, a, there's always a deficiency of, of, uh, of jobs under capitalism. If you just lower the minimum wage to zero, and you'll see how many jobs are created just like that. I mean, the unemployed, a big, not everybody, but a big chunk of the unemployed in any society are those people who just can't produce up to the level of the minimum wage. They're just not worth 10 bucks an hour, as ugly as it is to say it. They're just not worth it. They're worth five. But they live a better life earning five than they do unemployed. But we deny them the job that will pay them five. And then we're surprised when jobs go to China or somewhere else. Because we're denying them here. We're rejecting their 